In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a throttle body on your Honda Accord. This one is going to be on a four-cylinder engine. Let's get into it. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the bolts out of the tower bar. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the tower bar. Using a five and a half millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen the clamp on the intake boot. Using a pair of pliers, pinch the clamp. When you pinch the clamp, we're gonna pull this hose assembly out of the intake. Pinch the connector, pull it back, remove it off the mass airflow sensor. This little green clip is gonna be in here. Use a little trim tool, pull it out of here. Ours is broken, so it's just gonna dangle. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the bolts out of the air box. They should just get held in the box by their grommet, so you don't need to remove them. Pull the intake up and pull the boot off the throttle body. Remove the intake. Remove the connector off of the throttle body. There's a button on the back side. Push that. It'll release the tab and you'll be able to wiggle it off. Just like that. There's a 10 millimeter bolt holding this bracket to the throttle body. We're gonna remove that. Remove that bolt. Remove the clamp for this hose. Squeeze it and pull it back. Remove the hose. The hose is stuck on the nipple. Go ahead and twist it. You could use a flat blade and pull it off. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolts out of the throttle body. There's one last clamp for the coolant hose. Go ahead and squeeze that clamp. Pull the clamp back. And we'll pull the hose off of the throttle body. Pull the hose off and remove the throttle body. Before removing the throttle body, be sure to have a few rags handy to be able to clean up the coolant that'll come out of the unit. Before installing the new throttle body, we're going to remove our gasket. We're going to give it a little look over, make sure there's no rips, tears, flat spots. If you have any of these, you should replace the gasket while replacing the throttle body. Ours is good, so we're going to put it back in. Install the gasket. Install the throttle body. Get your bolts started. Get these bolts started by hand. You do not want to cross thread these.
snug these bolts down in a cross pattern to be sure that the throttle body sits square. Install the coolant hose onto the side nipple. It's a little tight, so I'm going to be using a pair of long needle nose pliers to help me guide the hose on and then also pull the clamp down. So that's the hose on. Now we'll pinch our clamp and pull it back into its original position. Torque the throttle body bolts to 16 foot-pounds. Remove the connector protector off of the new throttle body. Install the throttle body connector. Push until you hear a click. Give it a little pull. Make sure it's securely on there. Install the bolt for the bracket. Snug it down. Torque it to nine foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench in there, do the best you can. Install the hose onto the bottom of the throttle body. Pinch the clamp. Push it down. Install the intake. Pinch the clamp and push the hose assembly back into the intake. Tighten down the clamp on the throttle body. Install the connector for the mass airflow sensor. Install the little green harness clip. Snug down the airbox bolts. Install the tower bar. And get the nuts started. Snug the nuts down. Torque the tower bar nuts to 28 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.